create a victory to Louis Van Gaal because without him we wouldn't be here today so great. He won the FA Cup, he allowed us to, to be back. He allowed me to, to have one, one more trophy. I led many trophies to other managers to win after me when, when I won trophies and I left the club. And no one remembered that they were there because of me. Um, but I remember that this trophy I win because somebody won before me, before me and, and allow me to be here, you know. So I dedicate to him and to my seven players that were not involved in the game. And players that work really hard and deserve to be, but I have to make choices. And <coughs> sometimes choices that hurt me, hurt me to look behind and see people like the Pai, the Jones, uh, Ashley Young and uh, all of them there. But we are a team. We won and everybody's happy. In relation to the game, I think in the first half we were very stable. I was really happy with, with the game. Very stable, always in control, very comfortable in the game. In the second half, I knew it that that could happen because we are not fit enough. We have people on the pitch that is working for a week. And uh, when at the same time moves the gray, Vardy, the intensity of the game changed. They brought the intensity of the game for a level that was difficult for us to cope with it. But then I had the chance to make changes. I think I brought three players that gave us big stability in the game. Hovo, Mata and, and Arrela. And um, we recovered, we recovered the, the balance. And then of course, when you score almost in the end, there's always a little bit of lucky, but I thought in that moment we were again very much in, in control. In the last five minutes, a nightmare. <laughs> um, Schmeichel, he was a kid, but uh, for sure he watched some videos of his dad. And he decided to go there. Uh, Claudio brought Oilova. They have a right back. I thought it was Rory Delap. But was not that lucky. It was, uh, it was Hernandez and threw in balls 50 meters to to the box. And the last minutes were were really difficult. I know that I did something that is not nice to do, which is to take Matt in the last uh, minute. But now he's fine because he, he understands what I did. I couldn't take Fellaini or Ibra. Fellaini and Ibra they were. They were very important to be on the pitch. For that, Rodri the laps through wins. And we want to win the game. So in the end, we did it. Congratulations to, to them, because amazing team. I think they are going again to have a fantastic season. It doesn't matter if they win it again or not. But they are going to have a fantastic season again. And it's amazing that this one gentleman in the last row Sleeping like an angel. <laughs> Jose, a good day all round. Your first silverware at Manchester United, and you finally have full pocket. If he goes well in the medical, right? Yeah. Which I think he goes because at least I see him Mr. Grammy. He does kung fu, he does. Uh, <laughs> Karate, he does running, basketball, football, he, he does everything, so he must be fit. So yes, Tuesday, I will be there waiting for him, if that's the situation. A good marker for us. Bailly, Pogba, Mkhitaryan, Ibra, one defender, one midfielder, one creative, one striker. So I think the market was good for us, the squad is is good. We need to work a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, we, we, need, we need more weeks of work. I'm happy that for the next, I think, three weeks, we have just a match on the weekend. So during the week, we can, we can work because we need to work. Jesse, can I ask what he can do for United and what you can do for him? Uh, I think United is the perfect club to bring him to the level that um, he wants to be. The Premier League is the perfect 
habitat for that. If you want to be the, the best player in the world, I think if you go to Barcelona, to Real Madrid, you are in trouble. Um, because I don't think the other two big guys will let you <laughs> develop into that level. In here, it has the conditions to develop. In the most seen worldwide championship, which is absolutely incredible, with a team that wants to bring Man United to, to the top again. So we have everything to, to give him, and we know the reasons why he wants to come to us. Um, money he will get, he would get in any big club, that's not the point. So he comes because he knows the club, he knows the city, he knows many of the players. He wants to, to be an important part of Man United uh, project. So hopefully everything goes well and it comes to, to our team. Well, Jose, it's a day of the Chief Sport. Um, first off, congratulations on a fantastic result today. Um, what, what I want to ask is, uh, what do you consider uh, Manchester United's biggest strength uh, stepping into this new season? I think it's our desire to do, to do well, it's our desire to work, it's our desire to improve. Um, even today, I think you could see in the 20 25 minutes of difficulty, which was between the 50 and the 70 75 minutes, even in that moment. I could see a team, a team in difficulty, but a team, a team that uh, that wants. I, I, maybe you cannot see it like like I, like I do, but I know the process they are going through. Um, today I saw a team defensively very compact, very organized, not playing anymore man to man, playing zonal, not opening gaps between defenders, not chasing opponents, being compact, and. There are some changes that takes time. At the second goal, probably, probably last year, Valencia instead of cross, Valencia cuts down and play a back pass. Um, so we are changing the principles of play, and that takes time. So in this moment, we are not a super team. We are just a team with, with a super desire to work. It's different than the super team. We are not a super team. Okay, last two questions on that. I have no idea. I have no idea. I promise you I have no idea. I don't know. I, I was told before the game that the medical was confirmed and Juve allows to have the medical. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Would it bother you if it is Joseph? If Sorry? If it is a world record B, does that bother you and cause you any sort of No, I don't think Real Madrid was was upset when they broke the record with, with Gareth Bale, when they broke the record with uh, Cristiano, I think it was a world record too. I don't know when other people break records. I don't think it's a reason to be to be sad. I think it's, it's, it's a reason to be proud with the dimension of the club that can do that and can attract players of this, of this dimension. If you ask me that I think is a lot of money, I think Football is crazy, the market become crazy. What you think this season is crazy, you realize that three years later is not crazy anymore. And I think there are players that cost 10 million that are super expensive. Because they are players for 500,000 or 1 million. So what is expensive and not expensive in football, I don't know anymore. I just know that he's a big player that is going for sure to be important for a big club like Man United and I'm sure that every Man United around, around the world will be proud to belong to such a, to such a big club. Last question. This is all congratulations to I once asked you what your ambitions were for your aims were for the season and you said to not qualify for the EU Open League. What are your ambitions for Manchester United for this season? My ambition is a stupid ambition, I have to confess, because it's an impossible ambition. But my ambition is to win every game. So my ambition now is to win against Bournemouth. Very difficult. Can we win? We have to think about that. 
after warm up, doesn't matter the result, you play against Southampton. You want to win, you want to win every game. It's a very stupid motivation, but if you look in, in, in a different perspective, is what we have to do. Improve, improve, improve. Every match, we try, we try to win. Okay, thanks guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.